Hi there, my beautiful Sagittarius friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. Now I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you. And at the end of this reading, Sagittarius, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card, including an angel number for you as well. So stay tuned for that, my friends. All right, let's give this uh, deck a good shuffle here before I start pulling cards. All right, we are getting the Knight of Cups. Look at that beautiful energy. This is you getting into motion, Sagittarius, and really putting your love, care, and attention in all the things that you want to see growth in. And what I'm feeling here for some of you is you're receiving signs from the universe. And look at all these cute little animals all around this card. So... Perhaps you've been seeing animals around you. I'm going to pull a spirit animal oracle card for you today as a bonus card. And, you know, with these animals, that's, this is the only way the universe can communicate with us is through Mother Earth, through all the elements of the Earth, through animals, through uh, patterns, symbols, numbers, all sorts of ways. So spirit guides want you to be open and receptive to some of these energies that are coming through as you're getting into motion, okay? Okay. And the water energy too. Look at this. You're getting the nine of cups, Sagittarius. So good that things are coming towards you. And this is all of your hard work and your efforts paying off. There's a lot of joy, a lot of excitement, a lot of celebration coming in. All of your cups are going to be full. So building deep bonds with those around you, really looking at friendships and kind of creating a beautiful life for yourself around your community. Um, also putting love and care and attention to relationships in your life as well, not just your work. And the Knight of Pentacles, you've got two Knight cards here, Sagittarius. So this is going to be you being very, very busy, but know that there's an opportunity also at hand. I feel spirit guides are leading you towards this. This is you picking it up and then this is you getting into motion with that. So lots of movement, a lot of things lining up. And, you know, the, uh, the Knights are both facing the Nine of Cups energy here. So I really feel that you are kind of working towards this joyous place in your life, this place of ultimate happiness where you're feeling emotionally fulfilled and satisfied in all the things that you're, uh, you are doing and creating in your life. And it starts with this place here. So organization and really bringing that chaotic energy and putting structure to it. Okay. So we all live in a chaotic energy. This is all the chaos that we human beings have created, and it's all from the universe as well. So creations, we are co-creators with the universe, and this is what spirit guides want you to embody right now is the Knight of Cups energy. This is where you're getting into action. You're getting into movement, into motion, and putting that love, care, and attention to all the things that you are doing currently in your life. This is you setting up your website. This is, this is you ticking off your task sheet, ticking all the boxes off, getting things done. And I feel for a lot of you, you're super busy. You've got a lot going on. It's like hustle, bustle, your daily responsibilities, your obligations. You get up in the morning, you come home at night, and there's a lot of things on your plate. This is you creating balance and harmony with that through the cups, of, the Knight of Cups energy. Okay, water is going to be big. Spirit guides are really wanting you to use water as a meditation tool. So what I do is I have a nightly ritual where I take a shower, but I use water as a cleansing ritual as I'm taking a shower. So anything that I went through, through during the day, whatever it was, good or bad, I'm washing all the energies that I don't want, uh, that aren't aligned to me to stick to me. So I allow the water to wash it away. I feel so much better. And right now it is so hot in my home and it is smoky. So my eyes are super irritated as I'm doing this reading and my throat is super irritated. So I apologize if I'm slurring or making any kind of mistakes here because of the hot, uh, fiery energy around us. Um, the wildfires are crazy right now. I live in BC and it's just crazy right now. So, um, what spirit guides want you to do is really organize your life here and put yourself into a system with this energy and really get into motion by, by, uh, what are they wanting you to do? Really the system, like all the things you're going to take and organize them. They're showing me a cabinet, like organization. 
they're really wanting you to kind of get your life organized and put yourself into a system where you have a routine, where you have a schedule for everything, where you get up early in the morning, you use water as a, as a meditation to, tool. Some of you are scryers. I don't know why I'm seeing scryers. Um, they're wanting you to use uh, water for intuition here as well. So I'm getting a lot of intuitive downloads right now. So I'm sorry if I'm all over the place, but I feel like there's a lot of things that spirit guides want you to know right now through this Knight of Cups energy. A lot of you are beginning something new and there's a lot of things that you have to organize, okay? And you have to kind of place a system for your success because ultimately this is the place you're headed. The Knight of Pentacles is all about success. This person is walking, they're not charged up like this Knight of Cups. This is slow movement and this is where you've got it all together. Even though you've got a lot of things happening, you're moving a lot smoother and more efficiently. And this is kind of what spirit guides want you to kind of bring yourself to because I feel right now there's a lot of things happening all at once. Everything everywhere all at once is what I'm getting here with this. And they want you to kind of bring everything to one place and really look at it and organize it a little bit in your life just to get uh, balance and harmony flowing in your life. And this is maybe why I'm I'm seeing the water energy flowing smoothly and not being uh, rampant okay so this is what spirit guides really want you to do and express love outwardly here Sagittarius spirit guides really want you to um, express love outwardly towards people be nice and gentle and nurturing because this is all going to come back towards you okay and it's going to come back in a really big way here you've got the nine of cups card lots of good things are coming but they really want you to practice this as you are moving as you're in motion okay sometimes through our daily life what I'm seeing is a lot of traffic. I'm seeing people getting irritated, honking, screaming, yelling, road rage. So they want you to express love because we have a lot of this like static chaotic energy around us and they want don't want us to pick up on that as we're moving through this beautiful energy of flow water flowing energy don't let things outside of you affect you right now because you're on to something really good and they want you to stay in this like meditative state throughout your day so they're really wanting you to meditate in the morning here Sagittarius incorporate meditation into your morning routine because this is going to help calm your nerves and water I don't know why they keep repeating water maybe you need to drink water in the morning first thing when you wake up because that gets all of your organs moving and getting going uh, maybe you need to be around water or walk near water in the morning if you can because this calms your energy water is very soothing and it's very calming okay so that's coming through here with this card Splash, they want you to play here as well. Sagittarius, as you're going through this energy, they want you to pr dance, prance, like really um, move with rhythm here. Music is going to be good as you're flowing through this energy as well as you move along your day. So some of you, music really motivates you. It uplifts you. It definitely does for me. I love music. When I'm editing, I'm blasting music. And right now I'm listening to this um what is it? Uh, cafe. It's a uh, Middle Eastern music. It's kind of like a house beat and it's bumping. It's like I'm in a club. So it gets me kind of moving and I'm like, yeah, I'm in, I'm in this flow, this energy. So that's the kind of music I like to listen to. Um, I really resonate with it. So whatever it is that you enjoy listening to, use that in your daily routine as a ritual to get you moving to the flow of life as you know, you're, you're surrounded by this chaos energy. Okay. And look at this place. I feel like enjoyment is going to be huge for you. Uh, as you work hard, you need to play hard as well. So enjoy everything around you. Enjoy your friendships. Enjoy your life. Bring yourself to the present moment and really enjoy where you are, how far you have come. And know that your wishes are going to be met. All these good things are coming towards you. Spirit guides are truly blessing you here, Sagittarius. And there's an opportunity coming along this path as well, which you're going to pick up and you're going to move forward with. And you're going to see growth in your life in many ways all of your cups are going to be full you're going to be really uh living a happy life here i feel spirit guides are wanting to bring joy i'm seeing love coming into some of your lives i'm sorry my leg is falling asleep here on this chair 
um, a lot love is coming in whether this is through friendship I'm seeing kindred spirit okay there's a kindred spirit a twin flame and this doesn't necessarily have to be love this could be a good friendship this could be someone that you meet that could be a business partner this could be a soul tribe of people I feel for a lot of you you're really getting out there you're exploring you're expressing love everywhere so you're gonna meet some new friends you're going to really come to this place where you're gathering all of these uh, deep connections and building friendships along the way and this is really you networking here Sagittarius what I'm seeing is not only are you building friendships but people are getting to know you and you're building strong bonds that you can leverage later on in your business I feel for a lot of you this could be in your career where you're meeting mixing and mingling you're lining up business partners um, you're you're some of you are kind of making way for your own path you're kind of reinvented yourself you're really like letting go of that nine to five and you're building this business for yourself and now you're in that mode of networking and meeting and mixing and mingling so a lot of good is going to come out of this out of this process that you're doing here Sagittarius I feel travel is in the cards here as well I'm seeing some of you traveling really enjoying your travels as you're moving along picking up friendships as you move along a lot of good is coming through here for you and whatever this opportunities there's something coming through here for you Sagittarius whatever this is is going to really pave that path for you whatever this is and I feel this is in your material world something physical something tangible it could be financial like money this could be some sort of a skill set this could be something that is given to you that you're going to grab and really move forward with this could be someone giving you a business maybe this is an inheritance uh, something someone is going to be like hey Sagittarius do you want to go partner in on this you don't have to put anything in it's just I want you to be my partner and we can build an empire that sort of thing that's the energy I'm getting with this and I feel you're moving towards this very slowly but at a steady pace and as you pick this up I feel that you're excited about this but you're not going to overdo it with the excitement because you're kind of almost guarded in a way with this because it almost seems too good to be too good to be true but it's not it's something that is going to bring you some steady flow of income into your life this is this is something that is going to become very grand this is you that is going to really come to this place where you've equipped yourself with all the right tools all the things necessary in order to keep and sustain this uh, financial uh, place whatever this good material wealth whatever this is that's coming through for you Sagittarius oh my gosh yeah you're golden like I feel everything you're gonna touch is going to turn to gold here this is the feeling I'm getting here through these cards this Knight of Pentacles energy Things are going to work out much better than you have expected here, Sagittarius, through these cards, just the flow of the energy, and you're really coming together into this one place of all these wishes that are being met. And those of you that are manifesting right now, Spirit Guides want you to know that your manifest manifestations are about to come into fruition, and I'm seeing a little squirrel or chipmunk here. If you've seen one, I actually recently saw one. It was right on my wall. It was looking right at me, and as soon as I went to grab my phone, it jumped off the wall, so I'm like, darn it. I couldn't get it again so I'm getting a lot of animal spirits coming through for you here um, and what what spirit guides are wanting you to do so you've started to, on this new journey here some of you Sagittarius is right this could be a new job this could be a new project this could be a new business whatever this is they want you to finish what you start I feel some of you have tried different things and you're kind of like oh I don't want to do this anymore and you kind of leave it aside lots of different things that you are doing I'm seeing a lot of juggling a lot of multitasking here for some of you and they're really wanting you to finish what you start here whatever you're starting now you have to see it through because there's a lot of success coming in with this and it's leading you to this place of the nine of cups where you've manifested whatever this is whatever it is that you're embarking on and you have to see it through what happens is you kind of start something you're super excited about it the momentum kind of fades away and that inspiration that motivation fades away that happens that's natural right we have to keep that going so you have to do whatever it takes in order to kind of keep going through with whatever it is that you decide to do because it's leading you to this place Sagittarius this place of 
all the wishes being met. This is success. This is abundance. This is everything you ever desired. This is a place where you're going to feel emotionally satisfied and fulfilled. And you're going to love this place. This is a place of passion. Okay? So spirit guides want you to really get that through with yourself. That all your efforts and your hard work is going to pay off. Alright, so that is your reading through the tarot cards. I'm now going to pull some bonus cards for you, Sagittarius. I've got this new deck. It's called the Divine Feather Messenger. So I'm going to pull a card from here, and then I'm going to pull an, or, uh, an oracle card, an animal spirit oracle card for you as well. So with this deck, some of you have seen feathers along your path. Maybe you've picked them up. Maybe you collect them. Maybe you've seen the birds that are tied to these feathers. You're going to get a message today through these, through these cards today. So let's see what we get here. So we're getting a feather of a crow. So if you've seen a crow, a crow, a crow feather, you've picked one up and you have one in your home, this is your message. So this is what it looks like on the other side here, Sagittarius. Let me read it to you. Universal laws and truths are now being revealed. Use this energy to create your own reality. Sagittarius, I feel this is what you are already doing. This is kind of that busy energy of a lot of movement happening in your life. You're kind of trying to balance things out and making things flow here. So let me read you the interpretation from the guidebook for the crow here. All right, here we are. So let's see what you get here, Sagittarius. The crow is a wise messenger of the power of creation. Crow speaks the language of the universal creator and asks you to go into the darkness to tap into your manifesting ability. Pay attention to messages, visions, and signs. The universal laws govern all and tell us that there is an unending field of potential that can be accessed. You can think of it as magic or universal energy. It matters not. The energy of Crow is urging you to start creating all that you desire. Crow playfully reminds you to enjoy the process. So you're in creation mode here, Sagittarius, and this is what all that busy energy is, and this is where it's leading you. Your creation is leading you here, and this could be the creation of that uh, balanced lifestyle. Some of you don't have to leave your jobs because you're happy there. You're just trying to create some balance and harmony in your life so you can be in this happy place here, right? So place this reading where it resonates for you, uh, Sagittarius. I feel for a lot of you, you know, whatever these, uh, you are highly intuitive. So use your own interpretation with these cards as well. All right, let's pull an animal spirit oracle for you. Some of you have experienced animals in your life, and you're curious and wondering what the animal means, especially if you're seeing one and it catches you off guard. Pull up Google and search the spiritual meaning for that animal. It will give you a message. This is how the universe talks to us, right? So I've got bee, community. Have you seen a bee recently? If you haven't, you're seeing one on your screen right now. I see these, and I'm terrified of wasps and bees. I don't know why, I just am, and it freaks me out whenever I see one. I shouldn't be afraid of them because they're beautiful creatures, right? So let me read this to you. Community. So this is lining up really well here with the uh, Nine of Cups because I truly feel there's a lot of coming together. You are a powerful creator, Sagittarius. Your work blesses everything you touch. That's that. You, everything touches to gold. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen of abundance. Look at that. How beautiful. I feel this. all of this is aligning so well for your reading today, Sagittarius. Oh my goodness. I am so happy for you. I feel that your dreams are all going to be met, Sagittarius. That is what I'm feeling here for you today. I'm now going to pull an angel number for you. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to be your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. So let's see what we get here for you. Number 17, I am independent. So if you've been seeing 17, ones and sevens, this is your confirmation. Let me read it to you. The quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable, Sagittarius. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. And you know the night cards, that's exactly what it is that you are doing. I feel that independent energy is there. You are independent, and I feel this is your superpower, so use it. Own it. Be it. 
Sagittarius, this is your reading. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.